They've sent out their winged warriors, their navy, their bear nips. But the thing you really need to worry about is the itsy bitsy teeny weeny warrior. I'm telling you, the Viking faction are nuts. Like, fresh out the womb, they braid your beard and hand you an axe and a shield. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, where for today's episode, I'm finally gonna become a Tabs Master. Now this is something that's been years in the making, and I thought I had pulled it off last episode, because I've unlocked all of the units, I've seen all of the interactions, I've beaten all of the campaign levels, or I thought I had, turns out the developers keep quietly sneaking new levels into the campaigns that I've already beaten. So we're gonna go back, find all of those levels, beat them, make sure that everything has been completed so that I've covered everything in this game leading up to the Unicreator. creator. We'll start things off with a level called More S-Words and Catapults. And it does say S-Words, not Swords. I have no idea why, but I'm a lot more concerned with how deceivingly easy this level seems to be. It's pretty straightforward, it's just a bunch of squires and catapults, but this is one of the three final levels of the challenge campaign, which is known for being like the hardest part of this game, so I'm not really sure what's going on here. Technically, this was probably made without the legacy faction in mind, so I'm thinking if we use some of these units, we might just be able to wool them. Like, if I put a barrel roller in there first, that might take out most of the S words. We could follow that up with a bunch of poachers, except I'm gonna have them really spread out because I don't want them to get catapulted. Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Should be able to get most of these guys. There we go, okay. Yeah, you're not the Mighty Ducks. You're not gonna be able to flying V against me. So they're all dead. And now you guys just need to avoid the second volley of boulders. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Please tell me you could take out catapults. Easy peasy. Why was that easy? Next up, we have a level called Something Sneaky. But I don't fully understand what. I checked behind us and in the cave, there's nothing. Like, they've got a couple of spear throwers on the cliff, but aren't they just gonna break their stupid little gumby legs trying to climb down it? I can guarantee that a skull helmet won't stop you from having a concussion. Now you've got two skulls bouncing off your brain instead of one. If they even have a brain to begin with. Again, I just want to use the legacy faction because it seems like it's the newest and funnest thing to do. Like if I just throw Thor in there, I've got $700 left. I could help him out, but I don't think he really needs it. I'm not sure how Thor handles spikes. Hopefully, well, yeah, that's a real puckered godly anus. You're not going to be penetrating that. Get out of here, shamans. <laughs> I'll never get tired of seeing him evaporate people. Oh, your tiny spears. They bounce off Mjolnir. You better regret. Thor is such an amazing unit. Aw, oh, crap. One of them got stuck. Please tell me that lightning can reach him. Come on. Oh, there we go. That's the good stuff. Now, I know what some of you guys are probably thinking. The Viking faction are going to give it their all. They want to stop me dead in my tracks because this is the end of the challenge campaign. It's a level called Big Brawl. They've sent out their winged warriors, their navy, their bear nips. But the thing you really need to worry about is the itsy bitsy teeny weeny warrior. I'm telling you, the Viking faction are nuts. Like, fresh out the womb, they braid your beard and hand you an axe and a shield. It just dawned on me that they gave me exactly enough money to use the tank. And I'm willing to bet that they sent in their army and this level was created long before the tank existed. So I, I sent the itsy bitsy teeny weeny warrior home. Like I, I feel way too bad running over a newborn. The rest of them though, is it's fair game. They had it coming. Oh, there's no way they can dive on top of a tank and just dogpile it, right? You gotta be kidding me. It's been a hot minute since I've used anything other than the Legacy Faction, but especially the secret units, because we very rarely get to use the secret units during campaign. So I wanna try something like the Gatling Gun, which should be very effective against shirtless men with wooden shields. <laughs> but just in case it isn't, I wanna buy it a whole lot of time with something like the Teacher, maybe? 
maybe we could teach these primitive folks a thing or two. The teacher should be able to dodge and parry a lot. I don't know if you can dodge or parry a boat being thrown at you, but try your best. The Gatling gun needs to get winding up. Oh, they're getting run over. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I know it's cold, but you, you gotta really get cranking. There we go. That's the good stuff. Oh! Yeah, it's just not the right weather for a Gatling gun. I do quite like the idea of guns, though. I'm thinking gunslingers might do a lot of work here because they're so packed together. And then we could put miners in the front. People have been telling me that I underestimate the miner. Like for 200, they land a really explosive blow. And speaking of explosive, maybe we can back them up with some actual explosives. I also underestimate the dynamite maiden, but I, I think that might be rightfully deserved. <laughs> She's kinda useless. Usually blows herself up and everyone else. Do we not get a boom? There's the boom. It's a little delayed. Oh, come on, guys. You gotta be able to shoot the bird, men, please. <laughs> oh, still alive. He's still kicking. He's, oh, he is super dead. <laughs> he got frosted. Oh, man. This might actually be challenging. I've got an idea. We're gonna go for something a bit strategic. I'm gonna put a couple of peasants here in the front. They are gonna be the main jump on me army. So everybody is gonna dogpile on them. Then we'll follow that up with some barrel rollers who will hopefully be able to blow up the entire enemy force. <laughs> We're gonna have them run in as quickly as possible because I don't want them getting shot. And then we can follow that up with Thor and Maybe a couple of effective units, like the boxer. Yeah, we put a couple of boxers here and there and everywhere, and you know, we can never have too many peasants, especially when you want them to be taking blows for you. There's a plan. Okay, get in there, everyone. Good, great. <laughs> That's a lot of death. Thor, you've got everything lined up for you. All you gotta do is avoid getting hit by the boat. Could you maybe get the only out from under your arm? Beautiful. He doesn't need to worry about ice arrows. He just needs to kill these last few guys. I know they're big and burly, but you should be able to ruin them. How are they? How are they alive? Why is it a guy with a bear pelt over his chest can take out a god? I'm not sure how I should feel about using a fire breathing dragon on a frozen lake, but. I'm desperate, okay? I'll use anything at this point. Once again, we're gonna need the dog pile here in the middle. I really don't want them jumping directly on to the dragons. But if they do, then I'm gonna need a backup plan. Something to protect the dragons. Something with guns, preferably. Uh, maybe we could go with a couple of gunslingers? Might not be too bad. Anything else with cheap guns? Uh, I think the pirates might be able to, yeah. Put a couple of flintlocks in the back. Okay, I think this might actually work. The dragons are stupidly powerful against melee units, and I've been desperately trying to figure out a way to exploit that weakness. <gasps> oh, yeah! <laughs> Crisp them all. I can't believe we didn't lose a single dragon. This worked. Flawlessly. Oh, oh, we, we got a bird. We, we got one Valkyrie that's kind of gumming up the works here, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Holy crap. One of them almost ruined everything. Thank God I had the gunslingers. Well, I can apparently now call myself a master tactician because we finished the challenge campaign. All of the tactically challenging levels are done with. Now I just need to clear out the rest of the meme levels and I can call myself a tabs master. Oh, no, I remember this one. This is a level called Zeus's Revenge. We've already beaten it because it used to be the final level of the Dynasty campaign, but they've added four more, so I need to beat it again to move on. And of course, they got a couple of gods, and I don't because I can only use the Dynasty faction. So you got to wonder if we could just drag in our way through this again. <laughs> I'm not sure if the dragon is particularly effective against Zeus, is the lightning could just travel through all of the little flag bearer girls underneath, but we could also use something like the Monkey King. It'd be pretty sweet. Uh, maybe if I put Samurai here and here, that'll take up the first couple of snakes and bolts? 
Then we could go with firework archers and monks. I don't know, man. I'm just laying down a little bit of everything and increasing the pitch of my voice, hoping that something works. We should be able to torch these guys in the front. That's not a problem. Now, can we torch the gods? Torching the gods is the biggest thing. We can get the snake archers easy enough. We just need to finish off the Zeus eye. Yes! Oh my god, the dragons are so good. I love it. Moving on to a level called Compact Formation. And, like, you gotta be kidding me right now. This level might as well be called Dragon Food, but I am gonna play this smart. I wanna make sure that they jump onto a little dog pile up here before they become Dragon Food. I'm gonna play as far back as possible. Let them come to the dragon and maybe play it safe with a couple of firework archers behind them, just in case they do manage to jump underneath the dragon. Dragon does not like having stuff underneath it. I feel like that's a pretty good idea. There we go. Uh, no, we hit the dragons with fireworks. It made them twist and stuff. It's fine, but still. <laughs> a little bit of communication helps here, guys. I am so tired of having these Vikings jump on my nuts from an amazing distance. Like, this level called Great Leap, and they're back once again. Except for this time, they've got ice archers. Which usually wouldn't be a big deal for fire or dragons, but problems arise when the ice is in a different area code. Maybe we can use the same strategy with a minor tweak? If we have a couple of samurai sacrifice themselves honorably, then we might be able to once again torch these stupid vikings. I, I, I don't know how far back I need to put the dragons though. I guess you know, further back the better. But what are we going to use against the ice archers? What could close the distance oh wait it should be samurai of course <laughs> they can deflect the ice arrows and hopefully clean up any remaining leapers that are left something like that seems pretty strategic please torch them oh yeah that's the good stuff <laughs> go ahead try to freeze my dragons they surprisingly don't care wait what they, they, they keep shooting the dragon, and then the people holding up the dragon, but nobody seems to freeze because they can't focus on one unit. So it actually is effective against ice, just not for the reasons you would expect. What did I just say about diving on my nuts? Flying counts as diving. Like, this level called Blizzard. I could have sworn we've been fighting in a blizzard for like the last 15 minutes. I don't know if they would be dumb enough to get immolated by the dragon, but maybe, possibly, if we put a couple of samurai down again, I don't have anything against the samurai guys, okay? They're just really cheap. I need something inexpensive to get sacrificed. Then we can dragon them. And if that doesn't work, then what? I don't have many ranged options, so I guess it's gotta be firework archers. I can afford a surprisingly high amount of them. Just lay them down like that and Hope they don't hit my dragons. <laughs> Come on, dive down into the fire. You know you want to. Oh, crap. Nope, they slid underneath. That's not what I wanted at all. And now they're directly on top of the firework archers. This went to hell in a handbasket real quick. The explosions are managing to take some of them out, but also my guys. This may be one of the few cases where the dragons just aren't going to get her done for us today. So maybe we could try something like the ninja? Haven't spent a lot of time with the ninjas. They're hard to find, but I get the feeling they have a much quicker fire rate than the fireworks, but are still probably lethal. So hopefully they can take out the Valkyries. I'm not worried about anything but the Valkyries. Come on, ninjas, you can do it. Get those stars a toss and yes, Yes, that's kind of working, yeah! That's what I'm talking about, suck it Valkyries! As long as we don't blow ourselves up, then we should be fine. That's long gone, Wait, who's left alive? Oh, it's sometimes hard to tell because the corpses are spinning around just as much as the living enemies. I think the Dynasty campaign may have asked the Challenge campaign if he could copy his homework and Challenge was like, yeah, but just change it a little bit. This is the final level, it's called Viking Army, and we've been here and done this before. Thank God we have dragons. 
Oh, I'm just gonna have to keep using the same old strategy. I don't know if people are getting tired of it yet, but it's definitely working out for us. I'm just gonna toss down a couple of these bad boys and maybe a couple more samurai. Just scatter them about, keep people in the front. Easy. Seal it up, knock it down, burn them all. Perfect. Yeah, go ahead, throw your wooden boats into the fire. That's what I want to see. As long as the Jarls don't survive and get underneath us. Is that exactly what's happening right now? Okay, good. Dragons don't mind burning other dragons, okay? As long as we come out victorious, I'm happy. The very fire and ice filled campaign comes to an end. The dynasty campaign has now been completed, which means all we have left are a couple of Renaissance levels, I think. We've got a level called Renaissance Fencer, but I'm not seeing any fencers around, which is totally fine. Okay, I just assume they're gonna come out of the woodwork like cockroaches and we'll smush them. But for now, we need to deal with all of the guns pointing at us. <laughs> Makes me think samurai are the way to go. They can deflect bullets easily enough. So we'll lay down a nice line of them. They're also probably pretty good against fencers if we can find them. What else would be good against fencers? Probably ranged units. Oh, I can use any faction now. Okay, what's a nice cheap ranged unit? Um, I don't know. You guys always tell me that the archer's kind of crap. Snake archer's a little expensive. Ice archer's a little expensive. Firework archer. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go with something expensive. Screw it. We'll go with a couple of ninjas. <laughs> yeah, see how that goes. Okay, yeah, they are going to come out of the woodwork. They're coming from behind, guys. Just deal with all the muskets, and then we should be able to hit them at full force. We're not going to lose anybody over here, right? Yeah, okay, good, perfect. Samurai did their job, so now the fencers come in and I can't even remember what the fencers do. Can they dodge? Do they parry? Do they stab? Hopefully they don't one-shot ninjas. It doesn't look like they will. <laughs> the very least, Samurai should be able to tango with them. Oh yeah, they're out numbers because they wasted so much money on the musketeers that just didn't count in this battle at all. Okay, this is a little bit more interesting. We've got a level called Renaissance Battle, where they just send in the kitten caboodle, or they got tanks, they got horses, a little bit of everything else. Like, this would be fine if I could have my tanks and my horses, but of course not. I can only use the base factions for whatever reason. I'm thinking we might want to use a couple of Zeus, as well as a couple of ballistas. They should be able to take out everything in all reality if we can protect them. So what do we want to use in the front? I'd like a unit that can actually handle itself semi-well. Actually, it should be the samurai again, because they could do it just as well as anyone else, except they'll be able to deflect the musket shots, which is going to be really important, because I don't want to lose four units right off the bat for absolutely no reason. I also really don't want these guys to get hit in the back by lightning bolts. Hopefully I can spread them out enough. I'm gonna put a couple of you guys over here. <laughs> you can flank a little bit. Oh, yeah, that, that should be okay. I'm assuming that the Ballista can take out a Da Vinci tank. They can one-shot most things. You'd think they'd be able to one-shot a giant freaking Beyblade. Just please, <laughs> please hurt them or the horse. Probably the horse first. Yep, yep, that hurt the horse, all right. Is Zeus still going? Oh, he's getting pelted. Uh, oh, we lost a ballista. How? No, no, you need to go for the tanks. You what happened? It, it all just fell apart slowly. Nothing hit the tanks, right? I think that was our main problem. I wonder if something really stupid like a volley of snakes would work. Because then the tank would spend all of his time shooting the snakes rather than the snake archers. Same thing for the horses and really everything. These units don't do particularly well when they're... Oh, no, never mind. The horses are focused in on my ranks. No. What do you mean? The wobbly horses are usually so afraid of snakes. Oh, my God. That was over in like two seconds. You know what? The dragons haven't let me down once this episode, so I got to give them a fair chance. They should be able to torch the tank if they can get up there. Getting up there is the problem. We can put some samurai in the front, not as sacrifices, but to deflect and protect. I need something that can take out these freaking horses, though. <gasps> I don't have pikemen, unfortunately. Maybe we could go with something like the harvester? 
pretty good against most units. Yeah, let's try that. Uh, in all reality, we could just torch the horse, right? Well, can't you just burn it? I'm amazed at how quickly that horse just fell. That was flawless. Now just burn the giant wooden spinny thing. That should be pretty straightforward. Look at all the fire in there. Da Vinci, do you feel the heat? Yes. <laughs> Finish him off. Finish him off. I want my victory so badly. All right, that seals it. I have been underrating the dragon this entire time. It was a huge underestimation. They are nuts. You know what I think? That's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. That's it. I've finished every single campaign level, I, I think. Some of them are glowing for some reason, and I don't really know what that means, but anything that was locked has now been unlocked and defeated. So as far as I can tell, I'm now a Tabs Master. I've seen and done it all, but that doesn't mean the Tabs is over with. I'm definitely gonna do more viewer recommendation battles, I'm gonna do more user battles, I'm gonna do more tournaments, I'm gonna look at the unit creator when it comes out, and any other updates, so like, Tabs isn't going anywhere. But be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment, let me know that you want more anyway. Your support is the reason this is become a long-lasting series, and I'll return with some crazy ideas again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.